And the will of God that concerns our nation, Ghana, in 2024 is this. God wants to restore the country back to be in align with him. And that the, the covenant that was broken, the national prayer and thanksgiving service that was broken should be reenacted. When it is enacted, we will be back in line. The man which, which tenure that happened was John Dramani Mahama. That is why the Lord announced some time ago that he will be the next president of Ghana. Not because of political party or is better than anybody. Or is a better candidate than no. But it is because the covenant that was broken concerning our nation happened in his time. What I saw in the spirit realm was that the vision God showed me. I was there and I saw the president of the nation now hand over power to number one. I saw Claire. Me bumper yes, I mean, that night I prayed for years, many years I've done. For many years, about five years now or six years, I mean that I've done. Me and your friend of prefer doctor and send me. Me can say I can't hear the stroke. I'm tasking me. I don't be able to go for two twenty years. So I'm not going to be not twenty. I'm going to stroke and I say, what done I'm not going to be able to say you're going to say you're saying you're going to be in charge. You're going to be you know who told you who has done this. No, but that's it. But me, me going to consultation one million. I'm not going to. What the one million number is? Jim, I'm so I'm going to go. Hey, yeah, who has done this? I just say a trial. I'm going to say one day. I'm tasking me. Hey, I'm going to be able to do from HR. I'm going to say so so from the number from the year. Me say you know, me was a man for the two year. Turn on HR. I'm so I don't know what. But I can't get a son, so for the one for the for all for Papa for Bramin Chain, Opa Kutuma, and now say, Oh, I'm with you, and I'm with you, and I'm with you, and now say, I'll put the Padu and Santa, Juma and Santa, for the Nepal for the Tanzania, Memo Cross Astronomers of Police Station. ene obinfo radio yenso yakika adifo a omo ahyenkom ede afa ye 2024 election a akato na bro na ye ba beto no eho aka adifo mienu abom na omo mienu nyina kom hye no ekɔ edma yura john dramani mahama na eno ene ye bisa se eno ena wa wo hwe no onso onso bisa se o question no me person we no comment na de mayen o so so obi sa se e ti say say se ni adifo mo achemie nu na bi mu se john doman mahama ne be win ni e bi mu so se eye vice president dr mahamad bomia ne be win ni no hwan ene nyakopon ana sa won konkono adan bibia di akyere no eye bosirim ka eye nyakoma de bi no mo ye e de support candidate na na se e de nyakopon e ka no mo ka kire ye nyakopon o ye dada afo na nyakopon e trofo because me ntia se na me ntine ma bia se we soro se nyakopon se we soro se nyakopon se e se emu hwan e no nyakopon anka sa e ka bibi e de kire no ha bisa question what e ha yo be for radio mo nyen koti e de for no so emra i have explained who number 4 is to you now all right so if i would check in the spirit realm number one in a different party ready to face the any of the three in the other party what i saw in the spirit realm was that the vision god showed me i was there and i saw the president of the nation now hand over power to number one i saw clear me bumper yes i mean that night i prayed for years many years i've done for many years about five years now or six years i mean that i've done so i was praying and then my eyes opened strangely i done and the lord took me my spirit he carried me and i saw the president now handing over something to number one of that party waiting and there was a makeup ghana flag this flag the makeup on the cheek and the left and right and god said this number one is coming back and he will now change the nation around he will make the nation beautiful like dubai that was the first prophecy i gave that who is the next president so number one of that party waiting is who I saw became the next president of the nation. Very clear. So it means that the party now will hand over to another party. Yes, I saw it. That's what God should be clear. My mind was not there. I was praying about it. It's not about prophesying who should be the next president of Ghana. I am going to repeat who is going to be, not because I am prophesying, but it's because in that plan of God, since 2008, this particular man, Something happened in his tenure and that needed to be reversed. And it's the same man God will use to reverse the thing. So when you people are fighting in the realm of the spirit that any candidate will just win, 
what you are doing is that you are fighting against the will of God concerning our nation. And some of us who carry that, we will not see that for that to happen. It didn't take many Daniels for God to hear. It took only one Daniel. It took only one Daniel. And I call on my fellow believers, men of God, who believes in the voice of God, that lift your voice in prayer, that God let only your will be done. David prayed a prayer that day when, when, when Ahitophel went and joined Absalom against him. He said, let the castle of Ahitophel be made foolish. And this afternoon, as I'm about to announce the last thing to you, believe you me, I speak the will of God into the length and breadth of this nation Ghana. That only the will of God will supersede every will of men. The will of God, as long as they are speaking in the name of our God, then they should hear that the will of God will annoy and nullify anything you do that is not in line with this will of God concerning our nation, Ghana. And the will of God concerning our nation, Ghana, in 2024 is this. God wants to restore the country back to be in line with him. And that the, the covenant that was broken, the national prayer and thanksgiving service that was broken should be reenacted. When it is enacted, we'll be back in line. The man which which tenure that happened was John Dramani Mahama. That is why the Lord announced some time ago that he will be the next president of Ghana. Not because of political party or is better than anybody. Or is a better candidate than no. But it is because the covenant that was broken concerning our nation happened in his time. And God is bringing him back so that... Um, a restaurant you are running a waste and mini restaurant as long as you are in the food sector there's a glory that is coming to you. but listen to the instruction there are prophecies that are conditional there are prophecies that are unconditional conditional prophecy is that or that is when god said the thing he said do this before you can see the manifestation if you don't do it you won't see the manifestation so those if you are in the food industry there is a glory that is going to hit you but this is what you should do. When you go open the restaurant or you're going to sell. This is what I see and I'm telling you what you do that will make you attract that glory that is coming. Immediately you open the shop or set up your table if you are doing a tabletop selling. Listen very carefully. The first seven people that will come and buy from you. The, self, the first seven people that will come and buy for you. When they buy, when they buy, give them a gift. So let's say you are selling tomatoes. And somebody came and bought tomatoes. So somebody bought tomatoes, maybe 5 CD, 10 CD, or 20 CD, no matter the amount. Make a package of a gift and give to the person. So whatever you are doing, as long as you are in the food industry, the first seven people, not after seven, the first seven people that will come buying it from you, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever they come and they buy from you, you can do it any day at all. When they buy, whatever they bought from you, Make a gift of the same thing and give to the person. As oh, please take this in addition. Trust me, the glory that is coming to hit the food industry, you also be a partaker. My time is up. Father, just have instructed, let it happen for your people, having as they obey. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank <laughs> you.